mid lane lane is going to know this isn't a smoke or anything like that at the same time. So maybe this is the attempt at top. The only potential bailout would be S4 as the Viper sitting farther down. RTZ is going to be the target here as uh, he already takes some damage from KYXY. I think they're hoping to be able to burn that BKB already. Uh, KYXY S4 is now coming over as well. Zai, they're going to try and blow up RTZ, but there goes the mech and actually keeps him alive. Enough time to be able to get down oh. the call down. And he's not even going to go down. He's getting healed enough. He lives with just 20 HP. The Maledict is there. The BKB runs out of the last half second, and the Maledict will kill him in the end. So they actually do manage to pick him off because his Aegis expired there. I don't think you're happy with using buybacks mm -hmm. because, like, if you lose this fight, then you're gonna lose so much. But yeah. it, it was like the they made the Dying best out of that situation. But Secret, I mean, they're just so dominant in their farm right now. Nice ice shards and RTZ stuck in a bad position, but there goes that song of Siren. And RTZ will be able to get away. Well done. 800 HP in such a short period of time. They're still going to have field spent. Okay, why X, Y, RTZ drops lower. But now here comes a back new call down. They're going to be able to catch one. And a second. And he just falls. Johnny, meanwhile, throws out that death. We're doing a good amount of damage, but it's still not enough to finish off any one hero. As far as the front lines, Mushi is going to be forced to try and take him out. Great Shack Chop that locks down Ash A bit longer, we'll be able to get that kill. But between the ensnare and the damage of RTZ, the Wind Ranger falls once again and Team Secret are now left with the predicament of whether or not they want to claim that melee ranks for their own. And Puppy's actually just going to sneak around and try to get in a better position, but there are two sentry wards up there, so he has to be careful. And Fnatic are kind of stuck in a rough situation where they don't Dyer's have buybacks, where they really desperately need them, because this is the game losing fight or winning fight potentially for them. Mushi comes in from the side, hoping to be able to shackle both RTZ and S4 together. Meanwhile, Chani actually gets caught. He was hiding in the coats in her trees, but uh, Kuro managed to actually find him. And they take out Johnny, who's going to be a primary source of damage, or at least he was supposed to be for Team Fnatic. But now he's down for 45 seconds. Kuro pops the Song of Siren, leads with the ultimate, and is now just Dyer's giving his time to complete Mega Creeps. That is an eight second hold. And now Naga Siren, while she is very far forward, it will be sacrificed. It does come at the cost of Mega Creeps and a really bad fight for Team Fnatic as they still get back enough wall call down. The combination is just too much to handle. Team Fnatic, even underneath their foul, don't stand a chance. And Team Secret will take game number one.